Megan Fox. She's an actress in Hollywood, extremely famous. She was in Transformers, which maybe that's a little ironic because she is intentionally grooming her children to be transgender. She admitted that she intentionally groomed her children to be transgender. And Hollywood is perhaps applauding her for this, but this is abject child abuse. There is no other way to categorize this. Wait till you see this photo of her three sons. She has three elementary school aged sons. Some of them look hardly older than toddlers. They're dressed as girls. And there are reports that she did this to them intentionally. She taught them and forced them to dress like girls even when they did not want to. So we're gonna talk about that and show you all these receipts that lead me to this pretty strong conclusion that she did this intentionally. She's not just, she's not just an idiot. She's not just a liberal that bought into this when someone else groomed her kids. She is responsible. She is guilty. She is the culprit. She is the one who dressed her sons like girls and made them dress like girls and planted this poisonous ideology in their head so that they would dress like girls because she is satanic. Megan Fox is perhaps one of the most attractive, beautiful women in Hollywood. Whether that's real, whether that's fake, who knows, who cares? She is one of the highest paid actresses. She used to be in Transformers. I think she got fired from Transformers because she said something negative about the director of Transformers. There was a whole Hollywood kerfuffle about that. Megan Fox was married for quite some time to um, to another Hollywood actor, Brian Austin Green. They had three sons together. These three sons are um, elementary school age is the oldest one. The youngest one is just past being a toddler. And this photo, I wanna show this photo. This photo surfaced of Megan Fox and her three sons. And I think a lot of people on the internet, myself included, found this picture to be kind of jarring. As you can see in this picture, Megan Fox is standing beside behind three little boys. But if you didn't know they were little boys, you might not realize or recognize that these were in fact boys. The one on the left is wearing a pink shirt that said strong girls. He's wearing a choker necklace. He has a girl's haircut. He has bangs in the front and long hair, short shorts. He's dressed exactly like a girl. I mean, he, he's starting to get old enough that he, he looks a little more masculine. The middle child, the smallest one, also has hair down past his collarbones, parted in the middle. And then the one on the right is wearing what appears to be women's like athletic wear, leggings with, um, with long girly hair as well. And again, just for context here, this is not the first time that Megan Fox's children, her, her sons, have been spotted wearing girls' clothes. This is something that has become the norm. It's something that she's addressed before. And I wanna show a tweet. So when this photo went viral uh, over the weekend, I, w I wanted to make something very clear here. These children are being victimized by their mother. Oftentimes we talk about children being victimized by groomer teachers. We talk about children being victimized by TikTok. We talk about this grooming coming from our culture or our institutions. In this case, the person directly responsible for victimizing these children is Megan Fox. Megan Fox deliberately groomed her sons into a transgender ideology because Megan Fox is satanic. I don't say this as an ad hominem. I say this because Megan Fox engages in satanic rituals. Satanic rituals like drinking her own blood and drinking the blood of her lover. She is open about her satanic rituals. She calls herself a witch. And the transgender ideology, queer theory, is a satanic ideology. It's satanic in the sense that it's a Marxist communist ideology, and that is a satanic ideology in itself. It is also child sacrifice. Child bodily mutilation is also a satanic ideology. So it should not surprise us that when the mother of three sons has decided to engage in satanic religious rituals, that Satan also captures her three children. She is directly responsible for serving as a bulwark between evil and her children, and instead she is acting as a conduit for the evil to capture her children. It's the most horrendous thing that I've ever seen in and of itself. That would be a story, but it gets worse. Robbie Starbuck, who's a former congressional candidate from the state of Tennessee, he's also very prominent on Twitter and in the conservative movement, shared a Twitter thread. I wanna bring this up because I wanna read this to you, shared a Twitter thread that went viral this weekend. He said, these are Megan Fox's sons. We used to live in the same gated community and our kids played at the park. I saw two of them have a full on, and he's talking about Megan Fox's kids, two of Megan Fox's kids, her sons, have a full on breakdown saying they were forced by their mom to wear girls clothes as their nanny tried to console them. It's pure child abuse, Robbie Starbuck said, pray for them. Now, this, this Twitter thread, that particular tweet has been viewed on Twitter nearly 10 million times. 
And he posted a, a, a second tweet attached as a thread to add more context. He said, more context. This was around five years ago. So they were younger than they are in this picture. There were other witnesses, plus, there was another witness plus the nanny when the boys did this. It started with one and then the other chimed in. The third child was not involved. We knew California wouldn't do anything about it because the state celebrates this stuff and she's famous. Weirder wrinkle to this, Robbie Starbucks says, I worked with Megan once on a small shoot about a year or so before she moved into our community and she was very nice to me. So I was shocked when this happened later on. Just a very weird situation, but clearly those boys weren't happy. I never said anything publicly because they were so young and I thought it would stop because they were vocally expressing their desire to wear quote unquote boy clothes. We moved to Tennessee shortly after and I saw this photo of the boys going around online this week. Really sad it didn't stop back then and wish there was more we could have done back then, but there really wasn't anything we could do in California. Then he posts this third tweet and says, and to the community note someone tried to write saying only one of her kids has worn girls clothing. That's not true, see below. And this is the photograph of her children when they were younger, her children being her sons, both wearing girls clothes. Now, of course, they all three have extremely long hair, long hair that typically only girls have hair that long, especially at that age. Now, Megan Fox responded to Robbie Starbucks viral Twitter thread. And let me bring up her response. And this is where you will see that Megan Fox deliberately groomed her children into being transgender. So this is the, this is, it's a, it's a two slide Instagram post. The first slide is a screenshot of Robbie Starbucks tweet. And then this, and then her description underneath says this, Hey, Robbie Starbuck, I really don't want to give you this attention because clearly you're a clout chaser, but let me teach you something. Irregardless, she said, it's not a word, Megan. Irregardless of how desperate you may become at any given time to acquire wealth, power, success, or fame, never use children as leverage or social currency, especially under um, erroneous pretense. Exploiting my children's gender identity to gain attention in your political campaign has put you on the wrong side of the universe. She said, I have been burned at the stake by insecure, narcissistic, impotent little men like you many times, and yet I'm still here. You effed with the wrong witch. If it, I mean, that gives me the chills to read that because it shows you that she has completely bought into a satanic ideology. She identifies as a witch. She's also doing the classic Marxist tactic of accusing her opponent of doing exactly what she's doing. The reason that the radical left, and this is a tactic that they, that they co-opted from the Marxists, the reason they do this is because it's a lot easier uh, or it's a lot more difficult to, um, it's a lot more difficult for the person being accused to be like, nah, -uh, you're doing it. So this is something that um, it's actually in rules for radicals. In rules for radicals, he suggests that if you point at someone and say, you are using children as leverage, even if you're the one doing it, it's a lot harder for the person you accuse to be like, nah, -uh, that's what you're doing. Hi guys, it's Liz Wheeler. Don't forget to watch my show, The Liz Wheeler Show, every night at 7 p.m. on The First TV. You can download the free First TV app or you can visit thefirsttv.com slash Liz and start watching today.